This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Friday, November 27th, 2020. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. This week we're continuing a conversation that Laurie Stratman and I had about the work that the congregation is doing, engaging in racial justice work, and the Beloved Conversations program at the Unitarian Universalist Association. So the, the last question that I, I kind of, I've, in this series of talking to, to folks um, doing important advocacy work with the church, um, the last question I'm kind of landing on is, um, what, what to you is the connection between this work of, of uh, dismantling white supremacy and, um, and your faith and your Unitarian Universalism? Sure, that's a great question. I think for Unitarianism uh, to me is, is a faith of love. And I mean, love is, is the foundation. And this work of dismantling white supremacy is very much a form of love. It's, it's, it's getting rid of those, those vestiges of hatred and um, supremacy that have harmed our brothers and sisters for far too long. Mm -hmm. And so, to me, this is, it's an act of love. Mm -hmm. yep. I, uh, I can't remember which of my colleagues called us the love people, but it was, so it's, it's a phrase that's stuck for, for me at least. Um, thank you. You know, we're, we're doing this as a, as a series because we've got we talked about Green Sanctuary last week and, and uh, the LGBTQIA um, welcoming committee is recertifying um, our, uh, our welcoming congregation status this year. Um, and so I don't know if I said this last week, but, but while we're doing this as three sort of, a series of three interviews, um, this isn't discrete work, right? The, no, not at all the work of dismantling white supremacy is tied up with what Becky was talking about last week, where if you, if you lay down the flood map of Lincoln on the average income and demographics of Lincoln, it's highly correlated. And, and that's right in there with, with um, the work of dismantling systems of oppression. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, and welcoming, welcoming recertification is right there too. So that's, that's a the conversation we'll have next week, I suppose. But uh, um, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for, for doing this and for, for taking on this work within the church and beyond it. Thank you for, for uh, letting me babble about it and uh, um, for all of your support in this as well. Thank you.